is right. Well, lawmakers and JCPS school leaders say there were several shock factors with this changed bill, starting with the provisions being sprung on them late last night. It sought to carry out another statewide audit of JCPS and potentially break up the district. Lawmakers eagerly passed Senate Bill 156 out of the House Education Committee Monday morning with the goal of improving literacy in Kentucky schools. By Monday night, they and JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio says a curveball was thrown with new language added to the measure. I want to be clear. Um, I got notification of this bill last night at 9 p.m. as I was getting ready uh, to turn in for the evening. So it was like a punch to the gut. The substitutions called for an audit of JCPS that the district would have to foot the bill for and included recommendations to reconstitute JCPS into two or more school districts. Challengers of the changed bill say the impact could be devastating. There's this idea that somehow breaking up the district uh, is going to make our schools better. What it's going to do is resegregate our schools. The racial and socioeconomic divide what will happen will be extreme poverty district any way you slice Jefferson County. The bill's sponsor, Senator Stephen West, says it aimed to carry out the General Assembly's responsibility to oversee tax dollars being spent in Kentucky's largest school district and ensure JCPS students are getting high-quality education. Last year we put an additional half a billion dollars into K-12, through so we just want to make sure that everything's working effectively and how JCPS goes is, is kind of how the state of Kentucky goes. President of the JCPS Teachers Union pushed back, saying the district had already been audited most recently in 2020 and is making the necessary changes to improve. We've had so many audits that at a certain point you have to stop, take that information and work on implementing and I think that's where we are. On Tuesday, education advocates let out a sigh of relief after this version of Senate Bill 156 got axed. But there is still concern the issue can be raised in Frankfurt again, possibly attached to another piece of legislation. I think we need to be very watchful. It could definitely come back. And it will be one of the most devastating decisions for education in Jefferson County in 50 years. Now, committee members say Senate Bill 156, as it currently stands, is still a really good proposal. It passed out of committee and could get a full House vote as soon as tomorrow.